Hey guys, so today I'm going to do another video that involves painting, but this time I have a method that is really good for using any kind of picture you want and from anywhere. It, if it's a really hard picture, this is a really good method for you because it's a way to get it perfect and sort of the way you want it. Not exactly perfect, but close to it than free drawing it by hand. So. Today, um, I decided to choose this picture, and it has a bunch of happy faces on it, and it says, you have a cute smile, smile more. So, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and tape it up to the window so that the light can go through. This only works in the morning, or if you have a light box or something where light can shine through the paper. Okay, so I forgot to mention this. When you tape it onto the window, you're gonna wanna tape it on backwards so that the ink is over here. The reason why you're gonna do this is because if you do it where the ink is on and after, it's gonna become backwards when you eventually transfer it onto the canvas. So what you're gonna do is take your pencil and you're gonna press really hard and make a really dark line tracing all over over all the pictures and letters that you want to so like this. And you're going to want to make really dark lines. Okay, so after you finish outlining the back, you're just going to want to tape it back on your canvas in any position you want. And the tape is just to make it more secure so that when you do the next step, it's not going to be flinging around everywhere. And as you see, the back still has the tracing on it. And then you're just gonna wanna take any tool that's a pencil like this, that doesn't have any lead coming out of it, just a sharp thing like you can use, or you can use a pen that doesn't have any ink in it. And you're just gonna wanna trace really hard like this onto the letters again so that you press down the ink onto the board like this and as you can see my w the y is really ruined so that the ink is coming off that way you know that you've pressed it on hard okay so after you finish outlining the front and transferring it on back, onto the back. You're gonna pick it up and it's gonna look like this. As you can see, it's not exactly perfect, but you, it's perfect enough so that you can use your pencil and eyeball it. After that, you're just gonna take some paint that you're gonna use and just out, and use a detail brush most likely, and outline what you did with the paint. If you put enough coats, you're gonna be able to cover up the pencil and it's gonna look great. As I said earlier, this is a really good method for really um, anything if you want to paint on and you just don't want to eyeball it because you think and if you're a really bad drawer especially for complicated things like if you really want really want the picture on a canvas but you don't want to draw it so it's really good for that I decided I'm just gonna leave mine white because it's pretty cute and little so yeah I hope you guys like this video, and I hope you try this method sometime. So please like, subscribe, comment, and share this with your friends.